Tim, 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 Tim. What? Can I say it? Say what? Can I say it? Can I say it? Can I say it? Fine, fine, fine. You can say it. Okay. But I can say it. But if it turns out you're wrong, you're gonna have to issue a retraction. I mean, I got no problem issuing a retraction. I have no problem saying when I'm I'm wrong about something. Sure, you have a problem. You don't have a problem with that. What are you? You know what? Never mind. All right, that's right. Brian Danielson. AEW confirmed. Wrong. And what? No. no, no, that that's kind of a it's a done deal, man. No, you know, no, what? no, no, no. We only say that for one person. Oh, right. See. Oh, you Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time for a brand new episode of As the Buckle Turns. I'm Adam. I'm Tim. And, and I'm disappointed. I actually we actually have to do a newscast this week. Yeah, we we got after, we got stuff to talk about. After like weeks of nothing really happening, and then news just starts breaking. And it was still breaking today. Yes. Like minute, like uh, up to like a few like an hour before. Hold on, I'm going to check Wrestle Talk. Make sure we're not missing out on any late breaking news. But go ahead. Talk All about right. It. Let's kick things off with the biggest news of the week of the entire wrestling stratosphere right now. CM. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Just uh, John Cena returns. Oh, OK. All right. Moving on. Uh, OK. But yes. No, seriously, though. AEW is um, shaking things up right now okay let's get this one out of the way first because this one um is we have it now we know official uh 1.15 million views for last night fire fast night two fuck yeah um up from last week's just over a million yep um, 1.025 something, like something like that yeah it was, so it's up a good portion but i mean yeah like two back-to-back weeks of over a million awesome they have fight for the fall next week Okay. So that's going to be a gr- so great. This is where they should have been after Double or Nothing, but if they didn't, if they didn't lose their normal time slot for the NBA Finals. Well, for a yeah. Month. But it's good to see them rally so quickly um, for that. But yes, now let's get to the really breaking news. Um, the AEW the confirmed firms, for a uh, whole bunch of pe- apparently, people. Three people. Apparently, apparently for two of them, one, one guaranteed. So Thunder Rosa. Is AEW? She's all elite now. They just announced it a few minutes before we started recording this. Yes, um, it's great to see that she's officially part of AEW, uh, especially after her being the surprise opponent for Diana Perezzo for Impact. Yeah, uh, that so was awesome. That was that, awesome. That's a pretty cool curveball to the uh, the overall fans as well, because yeah. you're like, okay, so she's going with Impact. I mean, that's totally cool. Oh, no, I never thought for a minute she was going to Impact. I just thought that was a nice surprise. Like the, we're teasing all these different people who could be this opponent. Um, hot mess, Chelsea Green, who did debut uh, with her soon to be soon to be husband, um, Matt Cordona. Yes. Uh, but also Mickey James was teased. The, the yeah. Iconics or the I I inspiration, the I- inspiration. The inspiration. Um, I- inspiration. They did not debut for Impact. No, nope, they haven't done anything um, yet. We're wondering where they're going. So it was a nice little, a little curveball there. Also, it kind of makes sense that she's now AEW. Yes. Because uh, that that actual partnership with um, with Impact. But also we knew, it also made sense though too because apparently Impact and NWA are talking about working together as well. Yes. Um, especially probably they, they, NWA wants their women's division because it'll just help for that empowered pay-per-view. I really have a feeling it, it's so weird. I'm going to say that if the collective, mm-hmm. we'll call it the collective now, it really solidifies and becomes a, a thing. Yeah. I can see each one of these shows, you know, NWA, uh, Impact, AEW, New Japan, mm-hmm. and, and others, yep. uh, AAA, but they all end up having a very specific theme. And I, I have a feeling that, like, Impact might become the all women's show. That would be kind of interesting. Or or very heavy women's focus. Uh, honestly, I don't see them doing that. I see them being more of a counterbalance, like a really defined 
counterbalance where women and men can wrestle each other. They can go for each other's oh, yeah. championships, um, everything. And but who knows? Time will tell. Because we they already have precedent of a man holding a women's championship. That was the knockout championship. Yeah, tag team knockout championships. Eric Young. <laughs> with the, uh, I, so with o, with ODB. Yep. Uh, yeah. But let's get to, to the other. Gotta love Eric Young. Yes. But let's get to the actual big, most likely confirmed. Is Daniel Bryanson. Yes, Brian Danielson. Da- Bran- Daniel Bryanson, Brian Daniels, whatever. <laughs> Brian Danielson. I'm going to no, use his real name now. Daniel Bryanson. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Danielson. Um, is apparently a done deal with AEW. Yes. And he's apparently going to be debuting on September 22nd, um, which is their... Uh, Oh, what was there? If only uh, I had a magical device that I could go ahead and look this up on real quick. Yeah, it's in your pocket. Yeah. And no, I'm not talking about your penis. Because, let's just be honest, that's not magic or even impressive. Oh! You had a penis joke on you. Wow! Just, wow, bro. At least that's more uh, interesting to look at than your face. Oh! Grand Slam. Grand Slam, that's it. Um, New York City. Yeah, because they're going to New York City, and it's like two nights... I think it's one of the two nights um, for like they're recording for uh, Re- will be Revelation. Okay. So, not Revelation, Rampage. Thank wow. you. Um, so that's pretty, that's when he'll be debuting. So it'll be interesting as that. Yeah. So that's a big thing, and apparently part of it was what led him to signing with AEW was because he wanted a limited schedule. Makes sense. But comparable money that he was making in WWE. And could not um, say in his character and the stories he's going to be a part of. Um, Thank you. I mean, Tony is allowing. Tony, yeah. the EVPs are, uh, and whoever's working in, in the back, they're doing a very good job of balancing every, <laughs> balancing everyone out. Yep. Without doing fifty-fifty booking direct, yep. like. It still happens. It yeah. will always happen. You will. You will always have. Like three matches, you split the first one. The th- your third of your series, yep. one will go one direction. Yeah. Uh, so you will always have some fifty-fifty booking, yep. but it's not like WWE where it's very obvious. Yeah, it's every other week. Yeah. Um. So, but also another thing was because he wants to wrestle other people in other promotions. Yes. Um. So, and that forbidden door being open allows it. it. Really allows it. Makes it even easier for Brian. Um to go to New Japan. Yes. So, that's awesome. But then we have... That was a big news. And now there's even bigger news. Earlier today, it was confirmed that um, CM Punk has is reaching out to for a ro- pro wrestling in-ring return. Yes. And it was quickly like, okay, it's probably going to be AEW. Then it became confirmed. Yes, yes. he is talking, talking to, to the- AEW. And then within an hour uh, before we started recording this on Thursday, because remember we record on Thursdays most of the time. Right this second, they're just waiting for CM Punk <laughs> to show up in person to sign his contract. Apparently. That's or, where they're at. Apparently, according to Ringside News. Mm-hmm. So, well, so it's not, still not confirmed that he he's locked, but that's the reporting is. The contract's been, like, like they, it's locked in a sense of no more negotiation. It nope. needs to. It may have been signed, or it just needs to be signed. So we don't know until I mean, now. Also, it has been five years since CM Punk, even uh, outside of doing run-ins, masked run-ins, uh, has done a professional wrestling move in a ring. Uh, count that again. It was 2014. In a match. It was 2014. No, he's... Did he not do any matches? He's done no matches. His last match was the Royal Rumble. So it's been seven years. There you go. I misread that. I'm sorry. Over the past... Oh, because like, he's never had any it's matches. It's just been... He's, uh, that we know of. He could have had he, a match. It was a five-year break before he performed a move in the ring. That we know of. During a masked run-in. That we know That we of. think it might have been him. No, we know. It's basically... He's, he's, he denies Eventually, it. They, they did confirm no, he, the, late, he, the last one. He's never confirmed it, but it's been confirmed that was him. But, like, 
Um, and as far as we know of, there could have been others. Yeah. That were not at, um, televised. I mean, recorded that we know. That we know um, of. So. Because he's always wearing the same sweatshirt. So, but, um, but yeah, so it's been a very long time. It'll be interesting to see if this turns out to be true. Because here's my thing. Same with Daniel Bryan. Until it is officially announced by AEW, I don't believe it's actually true because... You're going to wait. I, I want the actual confirmation from AEW. What if they don't confirm until the night of? Then that's when it gets confirmed. Okay, I, I like that. Because I also like the fact that since they're, all, since they're still a private company, yep. they can keep these contracts in, uh, under wraps until the day of uh, debut. And technically, they, they don't even have to announce... What the contract is, or how many? No, long. not at all. Private company. Because yeah, once you get publicly traded, all of that becomes information, uh, public, publicly accessed information. Yeah. So, but until again, until it is officially announced, I'm not um, saying it's official until that is because it's easy to get ourselves as wrestling fans super excited oh and yeah then it and then it doesn't out, happen then it turns out it doesn't happen and then um, we get sad and then we get angry yep and then we argue with each other online so when it comes to cm punk i do if it doesn't have to be true um that he's signed with aew yes i do believe he is actually interested in coming back to a re- in-ring uh, performance all out bro um, no, I'm not just talking about like that oh, first okay. report where he's negotiating with a wrestling company before yes. it was announced. It locked. It was AEW about anything. I believe that's true. Oh yeah, I'm not denying that one at all. It's just until it's the company he signed with is officially announced by that company and sends AEW. I, he definitely still because you can see the fact that he has a uh, he still has a drive to be in front of the crowd. Yeah, because uh, there. There was no way he was ever coming back during That's, the pandemic. Th- yeah. Oh, <laughs> definitely. But, like, his fighting in the UFC, yep. there's still a drive to hear that crowd. I d- honestly don't think the crowd had anything to do with UFC. I honestly think he said, I've been training for in jiu-jitsu for years, not to the level to f- compete at. Yeah. Um, and he wanted to find out if he could compete at can that I, level. Can I move up to the next level? With and... at his age, with, at the age he was, um, so that's what I think that was about. But anyway, my point was going like this: it'll be interesting to find out when it, where he signs and all that, and he finally ex- explains why he decided to come back now. Yeah. Um. So my opinion is he is not happy with how his wrestling career ended. No, he I wants th- his his happy ending. I think he's fine. If he didn't wrestle again, I'm pretty sure he he's fine with it. But with the opportunity to make good good money, yep, um, and have these have actual do what you should you should be doing with the story instead of playing politics with because the guy who runs the company wants a, doesn't see anything in you yeah or no. doesn't think you should be over as much as you are no see the brilliant thing about cm punk is that you can actually take him and have him do this wonderful phase out goodbye yeah where he goes from in ring to on the uh, to uh commentary. On, on commentary and then from there does actually go i'm gonna retire now this this has been a wonderful run, I'm out of I'm out of here. Tonight's my last night. So, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see that his motives behind that. Plus, oh. it would be wonderful to have him on mic again. Yeah. Can you imagine him dropping a, a pipe bomb on AEW? <laughs> no, like be, because I know that the WWE one was throwing a lot of shade. Can you imagine the amount of backstage stuff at within AEW that they'd allow him to talk about? Oh, I know. And he'd probably be happy about it, too. He'd be like, okay, no, no, no. This person is really cool backstage. Eddie Kingston is all heart. You know, John Moxley, that is a family man right there. Yeah. Those Dark Order boys? Yeah, Johnny Hunger. <laughs> no, 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 no. I hate all of you. I, they're, they're a waste of time. And why they have jobs, I don't know. <laughs> the Young Bucks. I love you guys. The, you know, the funny thing is, like, uh, Cody, I'm going to fight you, but as a brother. 
Um, it would be funny if, like, on being the elite, when they are finally allowed back on there again, um, they actually show the, um, the Dark that Order. That should be soon. And the, the, they, they're back on the Dark Order. They show Dark Order during CM Punk and Pipe Bomb, and they're watching. And he's like, those Dark Order guys? <laughs> you? And they're like, hey, I hate all of them. Why do they have jobs here? I don't know. And they're like, what? Ah! And then it's just like, guys, he... And he's like, they're all like celebrating. He just mentioned us. And it's just like, um, it's like, Anna's like, you guys realize, um, he just said that he hates all of you and doesn't understand how you guys have jobs. Don't care. And, and then they're like, oh. And then he's like, they're like, why aren't you mad? I was like, oh, that sucks. He's like, why are you different? He said, all those guys. Yeah. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. It's like, you are? <laughs> oh, like jo- John, John needs to be the one responding with, like, you are? Wait, you are? <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. Oh, it all depends. No, no, no. It all depends if they can see Anna again or not. If, all, it's, just, if it's just if it's, Stu. If it, yeah, if it's just Stu, we're still on that, then okay. Uh, <laughs> but he should instead go get rid of one member. Then you guys are pretty cool. And everyone turns to Colt, and he's like, why do you think it's me? <laughs> Just, like, right away. What? What? Like, he's not even paying attention. He's looking at his phone or something. Yeah. And they all just turn. What? <laughs> and he's like, he's talking about five, guys. Fuck you, five! <laughs> no, no, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's talking. <laughs> he's talking about five. No, he's like, he's talking about Stu. <laughs> he's like, and Stu's like, why me? <laughs> but so yes it'll be interesting I, to see I what, wonder how the uh, backstage would be with uh, Punk and Colt back there Yeah, uh, I have a feeling do, they, do you if, think that they'd probably be able to bury the hatchet I think they'd be able to bury the hatchet um, it's a stress when you're doing litigation and all that crap comes up they could both just be like dude that was a terrible couple of years and I'm sorry for the way, things I said about you Colt's like I'm sorry about things I said to people about you yeah, basically it's just like okay. Maybe, I love you. Maybe I'm they, sorry. Maybe they won't be be able to get back to be as best friends as they were. Kenny starts chasing Colt around again. No, Kenny chases CM Punk around. <laughs> CM Punk is chasing Colt around. <laughs> <laughs> and Colt's just going. Wee, 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 wee. Um, but I did enjoy those segments. But it'll be it will be interesting to see when they is this all gets confirmed by AEW. Oh no, it's out there. Or if they just but said, you can see he's going to be coming out at. Like if this is done, yeah, he's coming. He's, it's it's all out. It's he's it's yeah. Chicago. Yeah, he de- they debut him at Chicago because he, he comes out and he gives a GTS to Kenny Omega. Boom, done. No, he gives a GTS to Hangman Adam Page. Joins the Super Elite because Doc Gallows is in there. <laughs> no, and, and then and then he immediately turns it on them too. Just. <sighs> No, no, but yes. No, it'd, be, it'd be so funny. Um, Kenny, he gives Hangman uh, the um, GTS, um, and then he's just like, afterwards, he's just like, you're cool, you cool, you suck. And he just points, and he's just like, it's like you're cool, you're cool. He points to the box. Okay, yeah, I, I get you guys. And he just points to Kenny. Who are you again? <laughs> Best in the world. <laughs> Best bout machine. Nope. Best no. in the world. He's just like best bout uh best bout machine. Belt collector. Nope, never heard of you. Uh five star Kenny? He's like five cars five I'm um, something six star Kenny. Six star matches, what? No. Um uh, no, no, nope. Okay. Never heard of you before. Right. I'm CM Punk. Hi, nice he's to meet like, you. I'm, I'm, I'm Phil Brooks. <laughs> Phil Brooks. <laughs> like, yes. He comes out as Phil Brooks. No, no, he's like it's like CM Punk. Hey Punk and he's like, Yeah, Punk. He's like that. he's just like, Yeah, I'm Phil Bro- I'm Phil Brooks. <laughs> like he's actually introducing himself for the first time to Kenny live and he actually uses his real name. That'd be hard. Alright, what else do we have for AEW? Anything I, else? I um oh new New Japan Pro Wrestling US champion. Lance Archer. Well that wasn't a mouthful. <laughs> new New Japan <laughs> Pro Wrestling. Yep. <laughs> and new New, new Japan, Japan Pro, Pro Wrestling. Wrestling United States champion. Lance Archer beat John Moxley in a Texas death match. Damn! And it, the finish was almost a replica of how Moxie beat Lance Archer for the belt. Except for, instead of um, Moxie putting Lance through um, the table this time with the Death Rider, it was Moxley. Um, it was Archer who came out of it, f- 
fork the shit out of uh, Moxie's head. <laughs> yes, he had a fork. Wow. And then chokeslam him through a, a table with barbed wire on it, and Moxie didn't meet the 10 count. What is it with AEW and bringing back, like, deathmatch wrestling again? It just goes to show that Tony Khan's a fan of all, all pro wrestling. Yeah. Um, and he's putting it on, he's putting it, making it relevant to the audience of U.S. and what TNT will allow. Yes. Um, I, I, which I and, don't think he has a problem with. And either. I love the fact that truly this is <sighs> what they're presenting overall for wrestling is a wonderful mix of, you know, we've got the the ECW matches yep. or matches that hearken to that, to All Japan, to the death matches honestly, from Japan. Honestly, I think it's more of a tribute to um, the death matches of Japan yeah, than, oh, no, no, than it is. ECW. But it, it, yeah. it I mean, hits yes, what... It's hard to have any kind of hardcore wrestling in the States without it, referencing it. Yes. But it doesn't mean it's the actual reference that they're, no. they're pulling from. Uh, uh, then you have a ton, a, a ton of Mexican style, Japanese style, yep. uh, North American style. Like the amount of styles. Oh, by the way, yeah, I'm predicting this. We're gonna have it's gonna be Andrade Ilo versus Pac at All Out. Ooh, that's what it seems because he seems to be questioning the um, Lucha Brothers um, why they work for Pac. Uh, huh. So. Huh. That's the awesome and he's got match. Chavo in his corner now too. Yeah, he upgraded his Guerrero. <laughs> I love how he said <laughs> Russell Talk said it. He upgraded his Guerrero. <laughs> um so but yeah, anyway, it will be interesting to see how all of this is, but it's great to see like Lance Archer finally a big win for yes. him on um AEW. Finally wearing a championship belt. Yes, it is another company's championship. And it's a belt that he's already held before. Yeah, so it's it's a good thing. But, but like, at the same time, because it's New Japan's belt, yep. putting it on Lance Archer, a a person who has been um rec- who is recognized by the New Japan fan base. Yep. Is a very safe choice. Well yeah. Um, if you're still trying to solidify a very good deal yeah. between your your company and their company. I'm pretty sure New Japan weren't happy that Lance Archer eventually went over. But oh, also yeah. with this probably with his contract expiring and then the pandemic hitting and him yeah. not being over there, it just kind of worked out. And now he like we would like to use him and like and with the forbidden doors, like, sure. He's like, Yeah, how about we put the US title you wanna put the US title on him again? There um, we go. You can still have use Moxley still, yep. and, because he still wants to work with you guys. So, but you have him and like so. Who knows? And what, what we have a me- we had a member of Bullet Club in the audience. Yep. So uh, it'll be interesting to see like all this goes. Okay, what else do we have on for the uh, AEW? Uh, that's it for AEW. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that that's it for the dub. Yeah, because we uh, do we want to continue with the for- Forbidden Door though? Sure, let's go. With okay. The forbidden door. Impact. Jay White. Also being not just showing up at the end of Slammiversary, yep. there was more stuff that happened off air. Not much. It no. was um, because they have recorded other stuff yes. um, that he's been involved. We have an official new member of the Bullet Club. The episode has been taped. It has not aired yet. Nope. So if you don't want it, spoilers. Spoilers. Um, spoilers. Spoilers. Uh, Adam, quick question. Yeah. Is this going to contain spoilers? Spoilers. Okay. All right. Um, so Chris uh, Bay Chris has Bay. joined the Bullet Club. Yes. Um, so yep, that's. I mean, we were like, we always kind of figured the big stuff would happen in AEW versus Impact. Yep. First I, member outside of New Japan in a long time. I'm really actually liking that the um, Impact is kind of being a little bit of the um, for some of these bigger spots. Yeah. And the fact that their Impact is teasing Bound for Glory to have a four promotion. Um, yes. involved in that show, which is awesome. Um, so it'll be interesting how they go for there, uh, for that. But uh, it, it's getting impact is gonna. I think we're gonna start to see impact um, popularity start growing again. And, um, and I think I called it when I said that the invasion truly would be the Bullet Club, no, not not, not yeah. specific companies. Um, no, because it hasn't really been an invasion yet. No, no, but. 
but now they're sowing the seeds. They're well, showing well, up. Well, they were always, but it's, they were always so- sowing that. But. but it, you know, it makes sense that it would be out of anything coming from New Japan that it would be members of the Bullet Club well, because, that would be part of that would be well, doing this because uh, the Bullet Club's history with. I don't know three of the uh, four of the MVP EVPs of AEW. Uh, then a tag team over on Impact. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Actually, uh, a. How about two? Two. Because Finjuice, yes, is technically still signed with New Japan, yep. but um, the Good Brothers have a rich history with the New Japan and haven't gone back to New Japan because of the pandemic. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> yes, you've got. Uh, but so that's, it was a great little surprise there. Yes. Um, quick um, new update. Um, we drew uh, for our predictions for uh, Slammiversary. Yes. Which means, sti- no, we're actually I'm vacated. But the title's been vacated. We're, yep. New that's, rule. That's our new rule. New rule. Apparently. If we draw, vacate the belt. This, for this year, apparently, if you, we draw, the, the title is vacated. So, or, and if we draw, the vet title remains vacated until we actually have yeah. an official winner. So, New Japan. Um, so, Wrestle Kingdom um, 16 will probably actually get official winner. Uh, yeah, most at likely point, at this point. Uh, yeah, maybe all out if we're lucky. Ooh, that's gonna be a tough one. Um, because SummerSlam and NXT Takeover will might be just, too we'll, predictable. We'll probably just draw on. Yep. Um, again, but we are gonna as the plan is right now. Just for predictions, we are planning to do SummerSlam and NXT. Yeah, why not? Uh, unless SummerSlam's card is way too eh. And we uninspired. <laughs> yeah, if it if it is leaning the uninspired route right now, and I'm just I'm not a not a fan of it. Um, so we'll determine that, but we will do NXT Takeover the next one. Okay, because it has the in ring return of Samoa Joe. Oops, my bad. Spoilers for the next two weeks of NXT. <gasps> I, how dare you, sir? We already said spoilers a lot of times. It's just, spoilers. We just added a bunch of I didn't know this, but that we didn't hint at. Anyway, uh, what's anything else for the Forbidden Door? Uh, no, no, that's it. All right, so let's talk about. W- I mean, let's talk about NXT. Really, is NXT kinda- getting punched in the face by no. WWE itself. It was not the face. It was the doll. It was the dick. Oh, uh, that was a that was a dick punch. That was a dick punch. They punched him in the dick. Punched him right in the dick. Oh, so NXT champion Karen. No, Cross- no, 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 no. Let me just go ahead and paint this picture for the audience here. I was going You've to. You've got a champion. I was going for, to build this, my mob. I'm just, okay, fine. Go right ahead. Go, go so, ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go so, ahead. So let me go ahead and pick. <laughs> <laughs> so on Monday, after weeks of rumors, NXT champion Karrion Cross finally debuts on Raw. Okay. Awesome. So we, it's, they're not waiting for You've the draft. Got, you got me. Because now here's the thing, because apparently the draft has been moved back a month. It was supposed to be the end of August. Now it's apparently um, September. It may even October now. Okay, know. as long as for I, I have no problem with the the draft happening as long as it starts it's finished before Su- uh, Survivor Series. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen? Cool. Right before Survivor Series, and the people who will get drafted to their brands will um, still be on their brand. And yeah, anyway. Yeah, it won't um, make any sense. No. So, uh, but we have this debut. Great. He's had a few matches on main event, even though he didn't really need to go to main event. No. Um, because that's what NXT was apparently for WWE. It's meant for, right? Uh, he comes out stripped of his cool entrance. And I know no one can see me, but I did air quotes. Air quotes. Because, well, I, a lot of people say cool entrance. Eh, wasn't really impre- impressed with it. Never was impressed you with it. You haven't been impressed with it. I never had him. Karen Cross has not impressed me. He's a limited wrestler. And if you don't believe me, go watch the um, five way at the last takeover. You had four m- amazing talents in that ring and Karen Cross. And Ooh. everyone everyone who loves Karen Cross, um, loved his entrance, loved what they were doing, pointed that out. I mean. Um, so I just. Uh, Somehow gonna... wrestling made Kevin Nash seem interesting. Okay, I know, I know. that man is limited. No, I'm not saying I'm not denying that, but I just well, didn't get into the hype. Oh, um, okay, and just I, everyone else. I mean, but then you go to well, everyone who did like him and bought into it. You strip that from him for his main roster. Yeah. Um, take his wife or girlfriend. I don't. Scarlett Bardot. Yeah. Yes. Um, 
Russell talks said called her his wife. I don't think they're actually married or even engaged, but Got they it. are. They were dating. Okay. So I'm saying they're still just um, dating. Um, took her away from him. Yep. Uh, and then you, in within two minutes, have him lose to Jeff Hardy, who has been on a losing streak yep. as of late. Um. So Jeff Hardy is the you, NXT champion, correct? I, I guess so. That really means that you just you didn't you didn't bury a talent on their debut. You you had you buried a brand yep. within your company. Yep. And a lot of people in the NXT believe it was a message. And it was Vince McMahon telling NXT what he thinks of them. Don't Be- shine beyond no. what your area. No. No. It's him sending his message um, because they failed to stop AEW in the ratings and lost that ratings war. Um, that was he's like, nope, I don't have, I don't care a fuck about any of you now. Wow, that's what a lot of people are saying. And a lot of people like Finn Balor, Adam Cole, um, who else? Kyle Riley. A lot of these people, um, Pete Dunne, who have been busting their asses to make Karrion Cross. Who was undefeated up to this point? Yes, and technically still is undefeated in NXT. Um, Look dominant. Johnny Gangaro just lost the title the title match last week. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you have him lose in two minutes to Jeff Hardy, who's on a losing streak in his debut. Yep. Wow. That is that that's disrespectful. Like if I'm at this point, if I'm Hunter. I am mm-hmm. kicking in a door being like, what, what, who made that call? Yeah. Who made that call? Because I, I need to have words with them in the corner of the room here. They need to be standing in it. I'm looking at them. Okay. Because, uh, I'll listen Vince to is like my idea. Good. Now stand in the corner. I'm going to have words with you about this. Because a lot of people, apparently, no matter what Triple H and other people in NXT, especially Jenny, Johnny Gangaro and Adam Cole, have said it's the third brand. There are a lot of higher ups who still just see it as a developmental. In in that case, I'd I'd be very, very, very picky about who I who I allow to go up there. Um, I don't care. I don't care where that word is coming from. Yeah. I'm like, no, no, no. Like, well, we want the NXT champion up here. All right, what are you doing? And I get to verify this all the way up to. I get to pull pull him out of it. All the way up to the week before, and you then you can't make changes to his debut. Um, th- what they did is disrespectful. I gotta wonder how much more Triple H can actually take of Vince insulting what he's doing. This is his his passion of love. Yeah. Um, that he how he wants. It to has wrestling. been one of the more consistent wrestling shows. Yep. Uh, like quality wise. Yep. Out of what anything that WWE was putting out, or still do, uh, so, and then yeah, still putting out, yeah. So I just, uh, if I was him, I'd be like, you know what, Steph, I'm done, I'm leaving. Yep, I'm, I'm stepping down, I'm resigning, and I'm offering to buy NXT from Vince, the Performance Center, everything. Like, I'll figure out a way to afford it all. <laughs> NXT, the brand, all of it. Yep. Um, not they, NXT, they, they not can, NXT UK. That can go to fuck. If, it can go no, no, like, but like, and just, but like, basically, he's like, now I'm starting a company yeah. called NXT. Yep. And then, but. Or it's Triple H Wrestling. <laughs> no, it would be NXT. He, he, if he could buy, if he could buy, if, he, if Vince would actually sell it. The Game Wrestling, TGW. But then he'd have to sit. But then he'd know how funny it would be. Is um, then USA's like, but crap, we can't. We don't want you now because you're not um, in, associated with WWE. But we're locked in for like another two years with you. What the? Fu-? And the Triple H's like, sorry. Oops. Oops. And then Triple H's like, if you don't hit a million consistently, we're gonna cancel your show after a, a month. And all of a sudden, NXT immediately goes to one million because wrestling fans was like, oh. oh. We're, not, we're gonna just, force this company to U, be good. USA, USA is putting an ultimatum down. We're not gonna watch in spite of you, so you can try to get out of your contract. <laughs> we and are, wrestling fans would do that too. Oh yeah, they would do it. Um, 
So, but yeah, that was just uh, wow. What else do we have for um, NXT? Uh, the ratings are up. Yeah, they broke up into 800, I think, this um, this week. I don't have those numbers right this time. Um, because they were up. Um, I think they were competing against the um, NBA Finals, too. I have no idea. On Tuesday. So, but yeah, it's good, for the, good to see them up, back, getting back up in higher numbers. What else do we have on there? And Finn debuts on SmackDown. So NXT lost one of their top talents to the main roster. But it's somebody who's already been up at the main roster before. And ultimately failed in the main roster because he's uh, too small. Well, no, that he was on Raw, and that's how Vince views him. Now he's on SmackDown. Which still is written for Vince McMahon. I know, I know, but better. <laughs> You, depending on your, who you are. I think they're going to use him better. Will, I will Hopefully. doubt that. I uh, hope. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that is. Um, it was great to see him back, but at the same time, he was better off in NXT. Yeah, I know. he had the NXT championship. Um, there's not much. There was so much more he could have done down there. Oh, yeah. You had the North American championship he could have gone and done a run with and really elevated that. And then put someone a new uh, up and comer over. Exactly. Um, had a tag team championship run. Um, there was more he could have done in NXT. So, but it is what it is. Um, is that all? Is that everything? Did we, com- did we accomplish everything? Sir, we have accomplished everything. Oh, thank God! I can't look at your face anymore. Oh, wow. two face jokes in one podcast. Wow. What? Just okay. You know what? Do your thing. All right, okay. man. Okay. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, you made it to the end of this somewhat long podcast. Nope, not at all. How long? Thirty, uh, about forty, uh, almost forty minutes. Oh, um, okay. Actually, We're just over thirty-five. Oh, okay. So thirty-five minutes. Yeah, okay. We're within the time frame we want. Exactly. Finally. Who thought in our first newscast back we'd actually do this? <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. Um, anyway, you've made it to the song podcast. Go, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. You know you want to. Make YouTube support this video. Thank you. Thank you. And Ryan's giving the face that he said he makes when he's lying, so he doesn't thank you. And since it, you made it to end this podcast, go ahead and comment down your thoughts on NXT champion Kieran Cross losing his debut to Raw. Uh-huh. Uh, also, tell us your thoughts of CM Punk, Brian Danielson, or Daniel Bryan, whatever you want to call him, because if you're a WWE fan... Yeah. <laughs> um, signing with um, AEW. Possibly signing with AEW. I hope so. What? Who should their first opponent be besides Cody? Because we all know that's going to be the first opponent for both of them. Should be immediately a triple threat match <laughs> with Cody. Uh, because everything goes through Cody when they start. No, I know. I know what I want to see. Um, Brian and CM Punk team up t- tag team championship run. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, like, they don't even go to the singles route. They go with the tag team route. Okay. I like that idea. That, you know how th- thrown that would be for everyone? Like, wait, what? Um, <laughs> like, but that would mean... also be a great um, addition to the tag team division. Yeah. Um, but, yes. Uh, but, yeah, something I don't know all that in the comment section down below. And since you like this program because you gave us a thumbs up and you made it to the end of this, because most of you people, you know, you stop listening after about a minute, minute and a half. Uh, on certain ones, yeah. Um, maybe you know, our, our two or three dedicated listeners make it to about five minutes in. Thank you so before much. Before we offend them and they just turn off. I, I don't know what but it was. Why they keep coming back, I don't know. Because My face doesn't actually show up. No, because I stopped putting the pictures of us. When I you know. Said, yeah, because too many people were complaining about your face. Oh, oh another face joke. That's three. Three. But, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button button ding make sure you ring the bell ding ding it's the one that turns on all notifications so you yes. know when all as the buckle turns content and i guess some other content from um at zop gaming but not nua nua sucks new is awesome new is sucks new is like great your, like your face and your penis oh four and two penis jokes bye <laughs>